Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Manti. A bill was just signed by Governor Murphy that makes New Jersey a little bit more environmentally friendly. Ed Potasnik is the chair of the Keep It Green Coalition and executive director of the League of Conservation Voters. Thanks so much for being here. Great to be here. This Thanks. is your bill. You helped push this through. What does it do? Yeah, I, well, we didn't do it alone. The Keep It Green Coalition is made up of 150 conservation organizations, a very diverse group, uh, land preservation, forest, farmland, and outdoor recreation enthusiasts. Uh, the bill makes sure that the 2014 constitutional amendment that was supported by 65% of New Jersey voters can be uh, going and flowing onto projects on the ground for preservation efforts. So um, basically from the southern part of our state to the northern part, we can have beautiful outdoor recreational areas and preserve land for future generations and land that'll clean up our drinking water because land is a great filter um, to protect the health of our communities. It's interesting that you, you said, that you talked about the vote because it, it is a constitutional amendment. The reason it had to go through committee, the reason it had to be signed by the governor is to give it some money to make certain that it was funded? Yeah, so the constitutional amendment creates uh, the dedication of the funds. The legislation helps to push that out or appropriate it to different programs. So the percentage breakdowns between all the different um, investments that we're making in the most densely populated state to preserve it for future generations, that's what the bill does. And that does that into in perpetuity forever um, so that we can continue to make those critical investments. And, and the constitutional amendment itself said that the money was going to come from the corporate tax? That's correct. So that was already established before the assembly got a hold of it. Correct. And did you do you think that when voters were voting for that, they knew that that money would necessarily have to come from somewhere else? Absolutely. I mean, one of the things we've seen um, with land preservation, it, New Jersey is uh, you know bipartisan support from all the voters, and 65% is a really high threshold when you talk about investing in a state that um, you know needs uh, land preservation. So um, for us, and I think we were very pleased to see the the voters come out and support the legislation which became a constitutional amendment and now amended the constitution in 2014 um, because they understand how important it is. Right, and because we have so many problems in the state. There's sure. so many budget problems. You, you've got a pension crisis. You have high property taxes. There, there's talk of taxes going up again. And so I don't know if, uh, I, I don't, I'm wondering if voters make that connection that necessarily we're not giving money to the pension fund because we have to do that. I, I know that's too direct of an analogy. Yeah. But so I guess what I'm asking you is, you, you, your argument would be this is that important. Yeah, a budget reflects your priorities. How we spend money in the state reflects our priorities. And time and again, the public has spoken up and said open space preservation, preserving our parks, preserving our farmland, um, and the great Jersey fresh produce that we have in our state, making sure we have recreational op opportunities, that is a priority. And what the constitutional amendment does is make sure that the legislature doesn't move those funds to some other priority. And voters stood up to say that. And, and I think um, you know we're seeing the, the best of that with this bill that just got signed into law. Without the bill, without the amendment, you really foresee a problem? Do you think that that land would have been eaten up? Or? Yeah, we're, we're, we're slated to reach full build out in New Jersey uh, with development by mid-century. So we're the most developed uh, state in the nation, and certainly we have to take pretty aggressive efforts. The open space work that the Keep It Green Coalition has led is the most um, really successful in the nation in addressing this, this critical need. Give me some ideas, give me specifics, like yeah. some of the areas that people would know that are protected by this. Yeah, so just in uh, South Jersey, um, Birch Cranberry Farm was recently preserved. It's over 440 acres of a uh, cranberry farm that had you know, generations. Um, I think everybody's seen pictures of it they, yeah. uh, online. So now that's not being farmed anymore and nature's coming back and uh, that's really exciting. Um, in the northern part of the state, Patterson Falls, um, they just added almost 10 acres to that national uh, um, Park, which is awesome for and that the specifically folks. because of the amendment. Yeah, that would uh, that well. Yeah, the constitutional amendment allowed for that to happen, um, and then uh, you know in Central Jersey, Sourlands Mountain Preserve um, also added uh, roughly 40 acres um, to the uh, the park that's available there. So I, we see this in every county across the state really good things happening. And then also historic preservation. So towns that are beautiful by their culture and nature, um, they're also receiving investments. So if you haven't had a chance to go to Trenton and visit the old barracks, that's received funding from the Green Acres program. What about the Pinelands? The, the Pinelands would be like the Cranberry Farm uh, birches and 
many other investments. Um, you know, the Pinelands has 17 trillion gallons of the purest water on Earth. It's nationally, uh, internationally, and state designated as a historic treasure. Um, really important to preserve that for our, our heritage and for the clean drinking water it supplies. I asked specifically about yeah. the Pinelands yeah. because there's a continuing fight, and I know that the people that wanted to put a pipeline through there have lost for now, but I'm sure they're going to be back again. Does this stop that? No, this is different than that. In some ways, um, you know, what this is about is taking land and making sure that it's not being developed. Um, you know, it, so pipelines aren't included in that. N it's not. This this does not address that. Is that another fight for another day? That's a, f a fight that's for every day, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. My I, pleasure. Congratulations. Yeah. I appreciate you coming in. Ed Potosnik is chair of the Keep It Green Coalition and executive director of the League of Conservation Voters. Jersey Matters continues right after this. Still to come on Jersey Matters, it's summer, a perfect time to visit the Barnicket Lighthouse. We'll take you there when Jersey Matters continues.